Hello. Um, so I decided to put a polyurethane bushing kit in my uh, 68 Camaro this weekend and um, I started tearing into it. Uh, originally when I took the spring out I compressed from underneath the lower control arm and uh, sucked the spring down to the control arm so that way when I took the control arm off uh, it would just come out all together. Um, it did just that. I found that uh, after replacing the uh, sway bar with this inch and a quarter from the factory 5 eighths, um, it bent the uh, stock uh, sway bar links and, uh, and I was having some rattling so I decided to go ahead and replace the upper and lower ball joints. Uh, one thing I would like to point out that um, I didn't know until I probably screwed it up but um, the the two bolts right here that hold the upper control arm in place which is also shown um, let me get a flashlight which you can also see here the two bolts there and there and then the shims for the caster camber um, I think those are pressed in I, uh, I used my impact to take this front one out and now it spins. Um, I just used a crow foot and uh, spun this back one off. Uh, the, the bolt never never came loose. So I think they're pressed in. That's, uh, that's one thing I, I wish um, I had someone to tell me before, uh, before getting into this. But um, all in all, it really wasn't too bad. Um, you know, I had to use a, uh, what I did on the top here when disassembling everything was I loosened that top uh, ball joint castle nut. I hit it with a hammer. The uh, spring tension popped it loose. Um, I was not able to get the bottom to do the same, so I had to use a pickle fork and, uh, and it didn't take much pressure to, to, um, to get that to pop loose. Um, I used just this little stand to set my whole spindle and drum brake assembly on. Um, all in all it's been a pretty easy process. The hardest thing was actually pressing in the uh, the control arm bushings. It wasn't too difficult but it wasn't uh, wasn't particularly easy. I would... Mm, I don't know how I would do that again. I don't know if I have any ideas or advice just yet. But um, I, I think reasonably safely saying um, takes about a day per side. I'm sitting about 5 p.m. right now, started about 9 and I uh, had to go over and use a friend's hydraulic press so we could push these in. Um, the only question I don't I have remaining and maybe somebody out there in YouTube land can uh, can help me is um, the upper control arm uh, rod or bar or whatever it is I uh, I pressed the bushings in all the way and I still got a little bit on the inside I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not I think probably not but if, if uh, someone out there sees this and says oh yeah yeah you wanna knows better than me I, I'm willing to, to take any advice I can get um, other than that, right now I think uh, um, I think I'm gonna replace this sway bar with like a one inch or a seven eighths. This is uh, I think this um, is designed for a car with a drop on it. When uh, when I had the the sway bar link in here, it the, the angle between there and there was was such. I mean it was like this and it uh, just destroyed, ate up the uh, rubber bushings. So I think that this sway bar I put in here is for a, uh, a dropped car and unfortunately it, I think, uh, I think, I don't know, maybe that was all the noise in my front end and I just did all this extra work or, uh, or maybe my lower ball joint was going bad. Anyway, I guess we'll really never know so I hope this um, this video was 
educational and uh, I hope someone like myself who doesn't necessarily have a place to work on a car and, and decides to get a car and uh, fix it up and that, that this video helps uh, helps um, helps you get things figured out without um, taking a whole week or, or whatever because you're learning in addition to doing so very well